Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Rocky Taroni, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to change the strings on your guitar. So I have right here a pack of Ernie Ball regular slinkies. This is a six string pack because I have a six string electric guitar. I'm playing a Fender Stratocaster and yeah, this is what it looks like. It starts uh, the, the smallest string is size 10 and the thickest string is size 46 and that is measured in millimeters. So I'll unpackage this now and, and get going. So to start off, we take the guitar, and if you have a guitar stand, it makes it much easier to hold it on there so the guitar stays in place. But what we do is we start off by loosening each of these tuning knobs up here on the guitar head. And go until that's completely loose. They actually make a really good tool for this that you put right on the top and you kind of spin it around almost like a little wrench thing, and it's got a clipper there to snip the guitar strings too to, um, to help you get them off quicker. I'll put a link for that in, in the description. It's a, an excellent tool. It saves you 10, 15 minutes. It turns a, good, uh, a process that normally takes 15 minutes into a five minute process. Now that we have uh, the guitar without any strings on it, we're going to put the new set on. I usually uh, start with the thickest one and work my way down. One thing I will let you know is that I don't tighten them all the way. I don't get them into the uh, correct tension that, that it should be to start playing until they're all on because I don't want to, I want to minimize the amount of damage being done to the guitar neck. So yeah, when you unpack the string, here it is. It's a long metal wire basically it's got a little knob right here if you can see that that is what holds the string from going through the actual body and stops it from coming all the way through so what you do is when you're putting in the thickest string it is although it's lowest in pitch it's going to be highest on the guitar neck it's going to be the top one if you're measuring vertically so you go back here on the back of your guitar and if it's upside down it will be this hole closest to this side of the guitar. Basically, you just string it right through and you can pull it from this side until it goes all the way in. You take it down here and then we put it right through this first tuning knob, the one right here. This is for the low E string. Now here, you wanna really pay attention and make sure that you put it in on the right side and you start turning the tuning knob the correct way. Otherwise, you're going to create unnecessary tension on the neck. Okay. I like to use a general rule of thumb. I pull the string up, make sure that it's taut in the back, and measure about six inches off the fretboard. So from the fretboard out to the string, that's how far you want to pull it. That'll give you enough slack to, uh, to properly tighten the, uh, the tuning knob. So once it's in place, what, what I do is I crease the string by wrapping it around and pulling until the metal actually creases and forms a little, the string actually forms a nice grip around the tuning peg. So see the string is coming here, sitting on the nut it runs, it's going underneath the tuning peg and wrapping around like this, and that's how it's gonna tighten up. We're gonna do that for each string. Now, because if you have it coming through and going over the top and wrapping like that, you're creating an extra bend that is a little more dramatic for the string, and it, it just, it's better for the, both the neck and the string. It'll increase the life of both of them to have it going like that, and so it's kind of staying in one continuous line as long as possible. So I'll put the rest of the strings on now, and then we'll tune back up. Okay, now I got all the strings on my guitar, and as you, can, as you can see, I'm sure you're aware on your guitar too, 
Uh, you got some extra slack here, some string sticking through. Any wire cutter, uh, standard wire cutter from any um, home improvement store will cut these. Like I was telling you about that little tool before, they actually have a little wire cutter attached to it. So not only is it a little spinner that, that gets the strings going quicker, uh, it's got a wire cutter on there to help you with this part too. So you can just go snip those off. I usually leave about half an inch to an inch on there just so you, it, it doesn't fly through or it doesn't go through the hole in any way. Um, now that they're on, I don't tune it up just yet. Usually with a new set of strings, I like to make sure they're taut enough that they're they're in place, but they're not flopping around, but they're not tight enough to be completely in tune yet. And when they're right there, I usually take them and just give a little bit of tension, not too much, but I pull the strings out to kind of stretch it and get it into uh, playing condition. Just kind of strengthens and loosens it up a little bit. So we do that, tighten them up, because by doing that, you definitely pull them looser and there you go. There you have it, guys. That's how you put strings on your guitar. Uh, I'm going to go clip these uh, extensions off now, and in the next video, I will teach you guys how to get the guitar in tune, so that way it's going to sound great when you play it. Thanks so much, and if you guys enjoy these lessons, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.